Well, uh, it's been a while since I've had a Blu-ray collection update haul or whatever. So uh, you see that tape right there. You know what that means. It's vinegar syndrome. And then there's some other stuff on top. So let's go through all of this big ass box of stuff. And I'm going to lay it down very carefully in front of me and not throw my back out because it's quite a big box. Uh, first off, we got the Team America World Police 4K. Uh, I've been looking forward to this release for quite a long time. I love Team America. I remember when this movie came out, uh, I was quite young um, and I didn't get to see it for a while, but this does include the theatrical and the uncut version of this movie. Um, so if you do like uh, puppet uh, sex scenes, you'll love Team America World Police. Hilarious movie, still just as funny to this day and just as sort of topical almost um, with some of the uh, stuff that it's lampooning and commenting on. But the puppetry here is great. Just a lot of good stories behind this movie as well. I love Team America World Police, so that one hopefully is a great looking 4K as well. Uh, and then we've got another one that is highly, 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 highly regarded, and that is Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy on 4K. And this is uh, the 20th anniversary version that does include the theatrical and the uncut version. I don't think I've ever actually seen the uncut version of Anchorman because I've either seen this movie on TV a bunch of times or on HBO or whatever else. Um, but yeah, here it is without the slipcover. Awesome that they actually gave it a different cover this time. Um, and then the inside is quite boring. It's just, you know, your standard studio release, disc art and all of that. But yeah, Anchorman, great movie, endlessly quotable, just probably one of the most quotable movies of all times, of all time. This is like the, the Mean Girls for guys, basically. Uh, if you go watch Mean Girls with a bunch of girls that are uh, around that age when that movie came out, it's impossible to watch because they just sit there and they quote it. Guys will do the same thing with this movie. So Anchorman on 4K for the first time. Great, great movie. Next up, we have uh, Chinatown from the Paramount Presents line, and this is the best possible studio line out there. Paramount Presents is better than anybody. It's better than Warner Archive. It's better than all the other studios that do their these releases for movies. You And you can't get better than Chinatown. Chinatown is one of the best movies ever made. It is a stunning uh, look into water rights in Los Angeles and this, this version. It comes with The Two Jakes, uh, the sequel to Chinatown. I haven't seen this yet, but I've seen Chinatown a million times. So that's a nice bonus if you're buying the Paramount Presents version. As for people who are on the fence about this one, I would recommend getting it because sometimes these Paramount Presents titles do go out of print quite quick, quite quickly. Um, Chinatown probably won't, but you'll have to see like Breakdown went out of print and it's a million dollars now. So if you want Chinatown from Paramount Presents, especially in this snazzy packaging with the poster and all of that, you might want to go grab it really quick before it sells out or before it goes out of print or whatever because Chinatown is an amazing movie. If you have not seen Chinatown, go watch it. It's it's just, like, I know there's some people out there who are like, oh, well, old movies, I can't watch them. Uh, I want to be as culturally relevant as possible. Well, you can't be culturally relevant without watching older movies and learning where the people that are making movies now got their influences from. Chinatown is one of those movies. It is a seminal classic in the history of film. Go watch Chinatown. Uh, here we go. We've got one of my favorite movies of the year so far. We've got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire on Blu-ray. Um, this one has some snazzy 4K packages too. Um, so I might just splurge to get the 4K. Um, these first ones that I'm showing I'm getting from work. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire on Blu-ray. I might get the 4K so it matches my Ghostbusters set up there. You can't see it on camera right now. But this movie, I absolutely adored it. It was like the... Uh, real Ghostbusters and Extreme Ghostbusters put together as a live action movie and you have you know the new team of Ghostbusters with Paul Rudd and everybody and then you have the old Ghostbusters and just a bunch of monsters it's quite it's on the scarier side it's like that it's like Ghostbusters 1 in that way with some of the you know random spikes of scares and then a lot of comedy as well so I loved Ghostbusters Frozen Empire I did a review on this one on the channel actually so you can check that out but this has a bunch of special features. It's got deleted scenes. It's got Easter eggs. It's got a uh, uh, featurette on Garaka, the, the monster, the main monster. Is Garaka even on the cover? Yeah, there they are right there. Big scary monster. They're doing this as a maze at uh, Halloween Horror Nights later this year too. So that should be fun. Um, and then uh, this one does come with the DVD 
and the Blu-ray. Uh, the DVD doesn't have any sort of specialness to it. It's just a DVD, but uh, we do have some nice disc art on the Blu-ray there. So check out Ghostbusters Frozen Empire if you're into some Ghostbusters busting action. Then we've got another movie that I really, really enjoyed this year, and that was Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. This one, I really liked Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, it felt a little bit um, stretched thin because it was like, okay, you're signing up to go watch Godzilla and King Kong fight each other. And then they fight each other for like the first three-fourths of the movie, and then Mecha Godzilla comes out, and they have to team up. It was cool. It was a fun movie. This one is equally as fun, equally as globe-trotting. Um, Dan Stevens is fantastic as Tracker. He's my favorite character in this movie. Um, let's check out the inside here, and it's just a little insert about some Godzilla game. And an Orange Kong 4K. That's cool. Um, you don't see that very often from these new studio releases, but you do have uh, a nice suite of special features, a commentary, uh, featurettes, all of that. So you're getting a little bit of bang for your buck with this 4K. And uh, it is a, a fantastic movie. It's a great one to watch. Get it on your biggest screen possible, all that jazz. But Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, really, really fun movie. It does continue from where uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters left off. So there's some characters from that movie that show up in this one. Really, really fun one. Um, then we've got another one that I was looking super forward to on 4K. We've got Go uh, Godzilla. South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. This is uh, the 25th anniversary version. I remember seeing this movie uh, when I was very, very little and probably shouldn't have been seeing this movie, but I saw it anyway. Uh, it does include the theatrical and the sing-along version, so you can sing along with it if you want to. But this movie is amazing. It is crazy that South Park did this, and I just threw it at my Wolverine popcorn bucket there, but it does have some special features. Uh, the 4K, the Blu-ray with the sing-along version and the special features commentary. What would Brian Baitano do? Music video, theatrical trailers, all that jazz. The uh, the inside, quite boring. No disc art, no nothing. But um, this movie, I was, I'm was i looking forward to watching it on 4K. I do love seeing some animation in 4K because you get to see a lot of details and stuff like that in the animation that you don't normally get to see. So check out South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut if you do like South Park or if you like Team America and you haven't seen this. You need to see this because South Park is hilarious. Uh, now we've got some other movies. I haven't seen this one, but I've been looking forward to it a whole lot. That is The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare with uh, Henry Cavill and... Um, uh, what's what's his name? Why doesn't it have his name on the box? Uh, Alan Richson. The guy who plays Reacher. He's huge. He's right here. Looking forward to this movie. Uh, I love Guy Ritchie. I love these sort of... Uh, historical, let's take some liberties-ish action movies. Um, and then there's some disc art here that's the exact same with Henry Cavill on it looking both that way with the DVD and the Blu-ray. But um, this one does have uh, the Ministry of Filmmaking as a special feature in the theatrical trailer, so you're getting a little bit of special features with it, but not too many. It does come with a slipcover. I've heard this movie is a lot of fun, uh, big action, boisterous sort of... Uh, you know, thriller. Uh, so let's check it out. Can't wait to watch The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I do love Guy Ritchie's movies a whole lot. Then we've got a uh, release from Shout Studios. We've got UHF, the one of the Weird Al movies here, or a Weird Al movie. Um, and I I've never seen this movie before. So I love Weird Al. I love his whole vibe. I love all of that about him. But I've never seen this movie before. Um, it does have a lot of special features, being a Shout Studios release. It's got a 4K Blu-ray, um, a bunch of stuff, retrospective panel, camera and or uh, the audio commentary, deleted scenes, behind-the-scenes footage, stuff like that. That just uh, is really, really special. And so uh, I, I have never actually heard anything about this movie as well. I know Weird Al is in it, and I love Weird Al, so I'm going to watch it because of that. But uh, if you've seen UHF, tell me what, what it's like in the comments, because... We'll just have to see. Uh, next, we've got one that some people in the comments have been telling me to watch. We've got Civil War. I didn't get to catch this one in the theater, but this is the, uh, what is this, the Blu-ray? This is the Blu-ray and the DVD. Comes with a slipcover. Um, I, I, I didn't see this movie for sort of mental health reasons. I don't really, um, let's see. How am I going to put this? Uh, I don't want to see the fall of civilization or the fall of the American Empire because, um, you know, 
with the political climate of today, it seems like that is a little bit more likely than not. Uh, so I don't want to see it on in a big theater with a bunch of people uh, before it actually happens, if it actually happens. Fingers crossed it doesn't actually happen. But uh, I've heard this is quite good. Alex Garland's a great filmmaker. I love uh, the 28 blank later movies. Um, so we'll have to check out Civil War and hopefully I won't have to take any anxiety medication or anything after the fact. But um, I did like Ex Machina too. Ex Machina was great. That movie, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Oscar Isaac is fantastic in that. Then we've got uh, the, well, this isn't the main event because it's not the last thing, but we've got the Rocky Sylvester Stallone uh, Ultimate Knockout Collection. So this is Rocky to Rocky Balboa. It does not include the um, Creed movies. Well, obviously, because those are Creed movies, not Rocky movies. But this is a 4K collection uh, of all of them, of the ages. Uh, a lot of blank disc art. Uh, it does include Rocky uh, for the Ultimate Director's Cut, which I didn't get to see in theaters. And then there's just a Blu-ray with bonus features on it as well. Sorry, I was just looking at all of those because I haven't actually looked at this. But... Uh, I love the Rocky movies. It's, it's all the same disc art. They're all black with gray writing. Um, but getting them all in one package on 4K, and I can hopefully say that these movies are all beautiful, stunning-looking renditions of the uh, original product on 4K. So, um, yeah, I'll have to see. I love all the Rocky movies. I think my favorite one is probably Rocky 2? Maybe Rocky. Rocky 4 is great. Rocky 5 kind of eh. Rocky Balboa brings it back, but um, I love the Rocky movies, so check it out on 4K, especially in this big box set. Next up, we've got season two of Halo. I did not watch season two on Paramount+. Plus. It just got canceled recently, which sucks. Um, that's probably why I didn't watch it, but um, probably because I didn't watch it and other people didn't watch it. But Halo season two, uh, I've heard, is better than season one. Uh, season one I watched, and it was it was fine. It wasn't like groundbreaking, you know, you would expect from Halo. Everybody wanted Neil Blomkamp to make the Halo movie. Uh, Halo is a little difficult to adapt, especially over a long-form thing, because there's so many games now, there's so much lore, there's fans of it, huge fans of Halo, like myself. Um, I am an Xbox fanboy at heart here, but Halo Season 2 on Blu-ray, uh, it is sealed as well, so it comes with a slipcover and all of that. It does have two and a half hours of special features, so Maybe I'll sit down one of these days and crack through Halo Season 2 uh, and then think about what would have came after that. Unless, of course, they find a new network for it or all of that. So we'll have to see Halo Season 2. Uh, then, of course, we've got a Walmart exclusive steelbook for Diary of the Dead. This is uh, George A. Romero, and it is... I want to say this is the last one that he did. Let me see what the year is here. Uh, I'm not sure. I enjoy the of the dead movies i have not seen the later ones like land of the dead or whatever else came after day of the dead but the first three are just horror classics and so you know it's george a romero you can't and doing zombies so if you've seen diary of the dead let me know in the comments what you think of it uh this is a nice looking steelbook uh i think you can still probably get this at walmart um you know i i, I don't care for walmart as a store but they do a great job with physical media. They are doing a great job of keeping physical media alive. So Diary of the Dead, uh, 4K steelbook, or Blu-ray steelbook, pardon me, uh, with tons of special features and all of that. So that's pretty That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. And then we've got two more here from the studio releases, and then we'll get into the Vinegar Syndrome stuff. But we've got Abigail. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. I loved this movie. It pained me so hard to see people not go out and see it in the theaters. But Abigail, go check it out now. It's on Peacock. You can get the Blu-ray. Um, this is a magnificent sort of um, love letter to the vampire genre. It does come with the DVD and the Blu-ray. The vampire genre of films, it feels like it's got influences from Near Dark, from, you know, Dracula, Dracula's Daughter, all of this stuff. And uh radio silence did a great job the cast here is fantastic one of the best casts in horror movies of people that you're gonna go like wow how did they get this cast together in about five years um it's got katherine newton it's got dan stevens it's got uh uh what's her what's her name uh melissa barrera uh giancarlo esposito really kevin duran really just a great cast great uh great horror movie go check out abigail 
Um, it is one of the best of 2024. Finally, for the studio stuff, we do have one of my another one of my favorite movies of the year. I've enjoyed a whole lot of movies in 2024, folks. They've it has been a great year for movies. We've got the Fall Guy. This is the extended cut uh, of it, which I haven't seen. It does include two versions of it: the theatrical and the extended version. This is the 4K. The Fall Guy was just a breath of fresh air. It was a stunning, beautiful movie. It does come with a 4K with the theatrical version, special features, a 4K of the extended version, and then a Blu-ray. So that is nice to see. It does have an over an hour of action-packed bonus features as well. Um, David Leitch, one of my favorite directors of recent memory. Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, great. This movie is just a whole lot of fun. If you love sort of action, irreverence, comedy, like my favorite, my, the best thing I could describe this was, it was a rom-com with a, like an action movie slammed together. So you can see this with your significant other that might not like action movies and they will get a kick out of it. It is great. Ryan Gosling is just charisma, charisma incarnate, just a huge charisma fountain. Now we'll get to the Vinegar Syndrome stuff because uh, they had their subscriber, halfway subscriber or whatever sale. So let's get to that right now and we'll run through these really quickly because I don't have a whole lot to say about these because I haven't seen any of these movies. I bought all of these based on the trailer or based on the cover art or based on stuff that looked cool. Uh, but here's one, it's Homegrown Horrors Volume 1. Uh, this one, the box was out of print and I actually went on eBay and I bought the box because I wanted the box, it looked cool. So this is gonna have a nice home rattling around in here instead of the version that usually came with it with three, dis uh, three boxes, but whatever, it's not gonna be sitting there rattling around on my shelf very often. So this is uh, three movies uh, that are shot on video that uh, uh, Beyond Dreams Door, Winter Beast, and Fatal Exam, they all looked really good, and this was like, it came out to like less than $10 per movie. So if you're gonna get less than $10 per movie with a fat stack of special features like that, you can go no wrong. And if you can get the box for less than what you would pay for the package new, then hell, I figure that that's a win for me. So Homegrown Horrors Volume 1. Uh, hopefully they get to, I think there is Homegrown Horrors Volume 2. I want to say, but hopefully they get to that. We've got some without the slipcover here. We've got Blood Games. This one was going out of print, and uh, I think it had like 120 copies left on the website. So God knows that I'm going to get, uh, you know, swayed by that tactic from Vinegar Syndrome. Blood Games looked awesome. It looked like a very um, just mean-spirited uh, horror movie uh, about a baseball, a women's baseball team or women's softball team or whatever. It looks like baseball. But it looked really great, and it was going out of print, so it was on sale as well. So I figured, hell, I'll get this. That's usually how it goes for me with Vinegar Syndrome. It's usually, hell, I'll get this. You know, I'll watch it. It'll hopefully be good. Um, then we've got, uh, we went from Blood Games. We, we've got Blood Theater. Uh, this one also was going out of print and also was on sale. Um, it's from the director of Hobgoblins, which I believe I have. Yeah, I have it right here. I've yet to watch Hobgoblins, but this cover and everything looked very cool. So uh, we've got um, obviously a bunch of special features because it is a Vinegar Syndrome release. Uh, it is his 1984 debut that is uh, Rick Sloan, an old movie house with a ma in which a massacre occurred decades earlier finally reopens only to be targeted again by a bloodthirsty maniac. That sounds like my kind of movie. Sign me up, Blood Theater. Next, we'll get into the slipcovers, and we've got uh, from the... I think it's like the Vinegar Syndrome Presents label or something like that. We've got Tough Guys Don't Dance, and it's got Ryan O'Neill um, and Isabella Rossellini. Ryan O'Neill is one of my mom's favorite actors, so I figured, hey, if she likes Ryan O'Neill, I guess I'll check out this movie. Um, and it looks like it's uh, a bit of a action thriller, lighthearted-ish kind of movie uh, from what I saw from the trailer. So I had to get this one. It was on sale as well. So tough guys don't dance. We'll have to check out all of these. You're going to be hearing me. Let's check it out. Blah, 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 blah. Um, because I haven't seen any of these movies. So I can't really tell you if it's good or not. Uh, the next one we've got is scared to death with the slipcover here. Uh, and I don't think I can show you the back of the slipcover because there's some, some ladies uh, on it. But uh, we've got scared to death. Can I show you the back of this? Yes, I can. So this looks like a, a monster flick. Um... Just another one from Vinegar Syndrome from, I think, the 80s, uh, it said. Let's see. William Malone. Uh, 
1980, exactly. Boom. So check out Scared to Death if you like stuff like that. Um, we'll go from the back here because they're all moving around. We've got one that I've been looking forward to from Vinegar Syndrome for quite a while, and that is Frostbiter Wrath of the Wendigo. Look at that cover. Look at that, that slip cover. Like, if I didn't get this with the slip cover, I would have been a little upset because that slip cover is beautiful. Um, Frostbiter, Wrath of the Wendigo. Uh, a creature feature with a pretty interesting looking monster. You can see some of them on the back there. Um, really nice looking creature effects. Look like a bit of Evil Dead-ish, uh, except in the snow. So, you know, I love crossing the genres and movies like that. Um... Another one with some pretty gruesome looking creatures. We've got Curse of the Blue Lights. Look at that guy on the cover. You tell me you don't want to buy something like that with a, a monster on the front like that guy. Um, so this one looked like another creature feature uh, from, let's see, 1988. Um, and I figured, okay, well, it was on sale. It was like 10 bucks a movie. 10 bucks a movie with the slipcover is outrageous. So, you know, my bank account probably tells me like, hey, you need to stop doing that. But... I tell myself I need to keep doing it because these movies look beautiful on the shelf and they're beautifully restored. And, you know, as I say always with Vinegar Syndrome stuff, I give them a lot of money. But guess what? It's going towards film preservation and keeping movies like this alive. Like, you know, you've got Chinatown. There's going to be a million releases of Chinatown every single time there's a new format or whatever. You're not going to get a million releases of Killer's Delight on Blu-ray with a slipcover that's lovingly restored. You're going to get craptacular stuff. So, Killer's Delight uh, looked like another slasher movie, 1978, a little bit of a proto-slasher. Um, it was inspired by Ted Bundy. Um, and keep that name in your head for a little bit, because we've got another release inspired by Ted Bundy coming up. But Killer's Delight, this one looked great. Looked like a bit of a uh, proto-slasher after Halloween kind of vibe going for it. Um, another one that I've been looking forward to, we've got Steel and Lace. Uh, and this one is a sort of revenge movie uh, about a girl that, a uh, woman that gets um, killed and uh, assaulted uh, by a group of, like, wealthy businessmen or whatever. And then she gets turned into a killer robot. So that sounds like a hell of a good time. So that's why I bought Steel and Lace. Uh, speaking of Ted Bundy, we've got Ted Bundy. This is uh, a numbered edition. I got number 1030. So beat that, everybody. Uh, these slipcover boxes for Vinegar Syndrome, I probably my least favorite thing that they do because they're incredibly tight. I don't know why they do it like this, but uh, it gets caught on the slipcover every single time. So it's a pain in the ass to get them back in. But Ted Bundy, I think, was part of this like uh, push in the early 2000s of making movies about serial killers. And this is one of them. Uh, this is the only one that Vinegar Syndrome has released so far, but I think there's other ones. There's one about John Wayne Gacy. There's one about... Uh, who's the other guy? I don't think there's one about the Night Stalker, but there's like three or four of these that are like similar vibes that are serial killer movies. So one of those, one of them where Jeremy Renner plays the, the, the killer. So uh, I'm forgetting the name of the serial killer, but if you can let me know in the comments, go for it. Uh, but Ted Bundy, this one was on sale, and uh, I do love some true crime kind of stuff like that. So I figured, hey, might as well get it. We've got three more here. We've got uh, Fortress of America with three Ks, um, and this is number 1744. It would have been sick to get number 1776 for Fortress of America, but uh, I didn't. This one was looks like it was just like a wild, insane action movie. Um, it's from Troma, so you can't really go wrong with Troma. Uh, they did the, uh, Toxic Avenger movies. Love those. I have the 4K collection of that. But yeah, Fortress of America looked like a great one, um, to watch, especially in the summertime. Uh, next up, we've got Dario Argento's Trauma. And I think this is the first movie where he put his daughter, uh, Asia Argento, or Asia, or whatever the hell you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce that, so... Uh, put his daughter in the movie. Um, this is from 1993. Uh, it is it is an Argento movie. If you love, you know, Italian giallo films, you will love any of his movies. I have not seen this one, so I'm excited to watch Trauma. Finally, for all of you out there, I know you've been waiting so long. We've got Curse of the Screaming Dead. And this one, another great cover. This one, um, I think, yes. I want to say this is the one where 
a couple of couples go out into the wilderness to go camping and they stumble upon an old Civil War uh, graveyard and they, you know, mess with it or whatever, steal something and the, the zombies start coming to life and eating people. So that sounds awesome. Curse of the Screaming Dead. Cannot wait to watch this one and the rest of these movies in this huge Blu-ray collection update. So thank you for watching. And if you like more videos like this and you want tips on how to save money to get more Blu-rays, basically check out this playlist right here.